Hey, Don here. So the uh, Coronas virus scan has finished, and uh, shows to have uh, eleven threats and twenty items still present on your system. And it's funny that it should say still present, but this is the uh, one, two, three, four, the fifth scan I've done with different software. And this is what I've been get, getting getting into every time uh, when the system gets infected for the last 10 years, really. This is 2016, so uh, while most of the time when you take and have your system cleaned by a shop, they'll scan it one time with some average scanning software, and uh, usually it's something that runs straight from an executable file and uh, some name brand, uh, I, you know, McGaffey or whatever. I'm not saying they all use McGaffey, but just um, some f fairly well-known brand. Uh, which and it's actually really the only difference that I, I've seen them. I've, I've found them on systems that I was cleaning up for people, and uh, the only difference I could see in it was that it was didn't have to install it. That it was a uh, run straight from the executable type application, and. Uh, <coughs> they're left behind uh, often in the uh, I guess uh, that's what I'm guessing in the systems you know uh, I guess it would depend if the tech can't hold still if the tech um, wanted to you know he could just delete that file but that one didn't so uh, anyway used to you could get by easily you could get them cleaned up in about three scans uh, but now uh, each different um, set of software seems to find something different. Let me see if I can. I was jumping up in my chair so that I can get close and put my elbow on my keyboard tray. Okay, it says it's a Trojan. Gen Trojan H -E Her GM. Her PC. Um, her UT. UT, they all have different letters on the end, so they're different variants, evidently. Uh, variant crazy something, K with crazy with a K. I'm looking, trying to look over my phone and do this at the same time. Oh, I wouldn't, I didn't start at the top. Okay, uh, a whole bunch, but they're evidently all in, uh, different files okay and uh, file path I hate the way this little window is there's no way on here right clicking does nothing you can't uh, make it big enough so that you can see and you can't drag the edges it's really I hate software that does that what you can do this looks like to find what you've got to keep paging over to find where it really is Okay, so uh, Dawn's DSL Linux backups. My DSL backup tards easy. Now that's a weird place. Now that has never showed up that I remember being. In. Oh, it says failed to scan error code. Oh, okay, so that's not the file they're saying it's in. That's just a couldn't scan that file. Well, there's nothing wrong with that file. I'm pretty darn sure. There's all. I've mentioned this before, but. Uh, Oh, any, very many uh, Linux files will show up uh, unscannable or as broken executables with uh, virus software that's meant to scan Windows systems. Something about it, it just doesn't uh, understand it. It's, it. The default here, so I'm back to the results. The default is says take no action. Well, this system, uh, I'm just going to say delete. Well, I'll say quarantine. Oh, I wouldn't want to put them back. I would say quarantine in case I wanted to put them back if they were. But if they are in a Windows system file, you don't ever want them back in there. If it's messed up so bad that it breaks the Windows system, I mean, if these files, I'm not just. It's not showing me where they're at. That's what I'm getting at. It's not showing me where they're at. Then uh, um, I don't know what's going to happen here. So it could break the Windows system. I, this may be the one that did it last time on that other uh, system. So, uh, OK. 
Okay, so it's doing it. I clicked on fix issues. <coughs> Seems to be a rather slow progress here. And the other button says finish, so I don't know why you would have finish and fix issues up at the same time. It seems like it wouldn't come up until you're done. So I can't hold still on this. Oh, now it's showing the bar. It's taking a little while to get it done for some reason. Oh, that's a cab file. Some kind of Windows thing. Probably from some from a Windows update or something. Well, unless it's that's how they hid the virus or what they hid the virus in. <coughs> but uh, moving rather slow, and I'm going to stop and come back once it's done. <coughs>